What's going on guys? My name is Jericho. Welcome back to Inside the Mind of a Silver Board. The last time I played this game was April 18th and I've only played eight games in the last 35. So we all know how this is going to turn out. Absolutely fucking awesome! I mean, look at my positioning, my corner peaks, my ability to read the enemy, and most importantly, my ability to hit shots. How many times do I shoot at this guy? I mean, honestly, like 12, 13 times, I did a total of fucking 37 damage that round! So next round we do the same thing, P250, push over to B side, honestly I feel right at home at Cash because I feel like it's one of the core three maps that I played so much I will never forget. I, I feel like I'm playing hide and go seek with a four year old over here, look at the peaks, they're so bad! And then, and then my favorite spot, let's just hide in the corner and hope that nobody calls it out, shocker! They call it out and I die! You know man, you thought that after one round or two rounds of peeking I'd learn. But I didn't learn. And in fact, I decided to double down on my bad peeking and rush the site because I'm, I'm lacking all sorts of game knowledge now. I'm rusty, I'm not even gonna check heaven, and I'm not gonna crouch or shift walk, I'm just gonna get brained! One of the worst things is learning that you've forgotten how to do spray control, you're not good at aiming anywhere, and one of the best things is getting a lucky headshots. Those two come together, I actually managed to somehow squeeze out a kill, and my confidence is boosted, I feel good! So I, I flashed in, you know, let's just break this one down, flashbang and then stand in the middle of the doorway to throw a molly to the back of sight. I don't fucking get it. What I do get is that you need a couple rounds to get back into the flow of things. Honestly, there was guy AFK on our team for the first round, this one, I didn't even hear this guy, just kind of got lucky. And you need some of those, you need some of those to pat you on the back and say, Hey man, you're not as bad as you think. Look, you can continue to do these peaks and actually get kills. Don't worry about checking heaven. Just sit in your bitch corner, run up on the site, and then get shot from behind! Honestly, it's good that I got that out of my system because now I get my first real kill of the game by spraying down and fucking... Jesus. Not having sex with Jesus, but you get the point. And whenever the UMP comes out, it's desperation. That's a lucky kill. I'm unlucky with that one though, I lit him for 93. It took 7 rounds before I was actually feeling like I was halfway decent at the game again. That nade, I see blood come out of the box in the back left and I decide to shift walk on the platform and make sure that my teammates, who aren't listening to shit callouts, will not get me killed. And it still took me 10 bullets to kill a guy not facing me! That's embarrassing. Skill might be something you have to work at, but reflexes and natural tendencies to shoot when there's movement are in things that you can't teach. <laughs> and then if you didn't believe that it was still me playing because you saw something that was actually the worst thing you could have ever seen, check out that bomb toss. My teammate's like, what the fuck are you doing? Just playing it, which I do. And just further to prove that it's me playing, who throws a nade like that? Who throws a nade like that? Oh, and who clutches that shit? I do. I do. Somehow. Carrying that confidence with the sniper, I'm rushing down mid, it's a 1v3, and you know I'm about to clutch this bitch out! Double scope into his soul! And, and, and then just... <laughs> just embarrass yourself. Yeah, 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 make fun of your teammate, the one that's out here putting his heart and soul into the game, the one that's actively defending you bitches from quad, because nobody seems to want to shoot this guy, the one that's gonna put himself out in the middle of the open and take shots at a guy with an op while he has a Galil, and I dink him for 87! But I'm not upset. Real talk, there are some things that happened during this round and other rounds that I'm not quite sure how to explain. Like, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me how one, I'm gonna hit that shot, and then two, I'm gonna have the audacity to fuck that man's life up as well. That, I mean, I'm on top of the world right now. That 360? Stupid. Yeah, 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 you might think that that was luck, but honestly, the best thing about coming back to this game is I realized that flicking and those sort of uh, those sort of shots are really kind of second nature, like I felt good about them. Even this game sense of knowing there's a guy pushing to my left and there's somebody to my right, oh, and then there's a third guy in my fucking truck, even then I felt comfortable. It feels like I'm coming back home to a game that I've actually played thousands of hours, which I have, so those things don't go away immediately. That reaction time, hideous, doesn't matter, still got the kill. And this nice little cheeky 3k makes me just feel like I didn't lose as much as I thought I did. Maybe the last couple months of CS were a fluke. Maybe the last couple months were just people not really chatty, but they weren't. I didn't even enjoy this game that much. I only really got excited during those two scout shots and the next couple rounds coming up. It, 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 for whatever reason, after a thousand hours in game, I just got 
bored with the situations, with the players, with the people, with the weapons. And I don't know if this is a problem exclusive to me, but all of my friends stopped playing Counter-Strike around the same time. I mean, look at this. I'm hitting these shots, these flicks. I feel good. That was fucking filthy. The other guy who I lit up is now dead. This guy I just dinked, and I don't know why he's still alive, and he gets a call out. Check this shit out! What? Hello? That shit was wild! I'm freaking out! And then it lasts another 10 seconds and then I'm... I'm bored. My teammate gives me a good call out, says one behind me. This flick is somewhere out of the fucking aim hack book. Look at- Oh! The hardest flicks for me are the vertical ones. I can do every other angle, but vertical are the hardest. And, and I just didn't get the same excitement, the same feeling, the same adrenaline rush as I get when I win a Battle Royale game, or hell, even when I win a fucking Rocket League game, I get more excitement. And I think that it's a me thing. I think that it's, I just got worn out with Counter-Strike in the situations, and for whatever reason, the game just doesn't hold that special place anymore. Enough whining though, because your boy's on one! Are we ignoring these shots? I'm a fucking ninja and a stealth player who gets... Shot in the face a lot. Takeaways from this video. Your boy can come back and hold his fucking own after a couple months of not really playing Counter-Strike. I still got it. I'm still good. I'm a potent man and my semen is quality. But it's just not there for me. The passion's not there for me. And that's half the reason, if not the entire reason, to play a game. I know that you guys love Counter-Strike and I will do everything I can to make sure that I have Counter-Strike content for you guys at least semi-regularly. But for why I'm not streaming it, and why I'm not doing competitive games, I just don't want to. Overwatch is super fun, I will continue to do that, but for right now, this is kinda it for anything multiplayer. I'm gonna do Mind of a Silver, I'm gonna do controller gameplay, and I'm gonna do Overwatch. So thank you guys for watching, my name is Jericho, I really hope you guys appreciated this, but also understand where I'm coming from. You guys have been awesome, and hopefully, if you do care about Counter-Strike, you'll tune in on Saturday for my stream of Rage. Talk to you guys later.